Consider the following situation for a company ABC Limited. The total capital structure is 35% debt and 65% equity. So my D is equal to 0.35% of the total value of the firm and equity is equal to 0.65V. 65% of the total value of the firm. Bonds with the fixed value of 10,000 pays 10% annual coupon matures in 10 years and sells for $950. The company's unlevered stock beta is 1.4 which is equal to beta asset. Beta asset. The unlevered stock beta. The risk free rate is 8% and the market risk premium is 6%. The earning per share is $4 and the dividends per share is $3. The return on equity is 20% and the price per share is 30%. The company's marginal tax rate is 40%. Now the company's cost of equity using CAPA model. So first of all we have to calculate the beta equity for the firm. And beta equity is equal to beta asset which is equal to unlevered beta, unlevered stock beta into 1 plus 1 minus the tax rate into total value of debt divided by total value of equity. So in this case it will be 1.4 into 1 plus 1 minus t since the tax rate is 40% so 1 minus t will be 0 0.6 into 35 divided by 65 which will be equal to 1.85 so using kappa model we can get cost of equity is equal to my risk free rate that is 8% plus plus beta equity that is 1.85 into the market risk premium that is 6% so it will give me a value of 19.10 percent so in this case the correct option is option a remember here we are using the beta equity that is the levered beta the unlevered beta assumes that there is no debt in the capital structure now at the addition of debt the riskiness of the equity holders will increase which will re which is reflected in the higher value of beta equity or the levered beta which is equal to 1.85 so using the beta equity in the capital asset pricing model we get the cost of equity is equal to 19.10 percent